Hello, it's me again. Um, this poem was composed jointly by myself and my ex-partner Nicola while she was in California, Los Angeles in fact. Um, the Thor and the Revival by Nicola Romansky and Thomas Hoskins Leonard. Another winter fades into memory as the ice thaws through our half centenary. Rushing Swollen streams extend their banks, while we to our blessed mother of nature give thanks. They burst forth from a frozen limbo, like a surge of blood into a sleeping limb, as we dally with Jumbo and Jimbo. Tom loves Nicola again, and she loves him. Life shakes away the cold and remembers, as death takes away and dismembers, and in the mad rush the glorious thaw awakes the sleeping, while our playful childhood dreams are ever deepening. In the wire loosing woods, the smell of death and decay gives space for other things to grow and flourish, and the animals the food to nourish as the shady spirits go on their way to return again on a tranquil day. We explore our old thoughts, frail and fraught amidst the games and flaunts, and with the feeling are struck that amidst all the gooey muck, the thoughts in this place from souls of every norm and race have taken on some curious form, like a spaceship in a sorority dorm, or a Romanian manifold without a norm. Some remotely detectable shape remained it here without us, that makes the satanic archangels gape, and their choirs sing the Benedictus Sanctus. Sanctus, we wander in our minds and memories, respecting our sleek contemporaries through these extraordinary places, imagining we're out at the hurdle races and the ghosts we encounter are as weird as a Jabberwocky monster embra embracing a Chicago mobster. Time consumes our thoughts as we grow carbuncles and warts. Grass grows through the concrete we laid down. The mats, the bats and moths shed your multicoloured gown. The eternal process knows nothing of attachments, but our identity holds on to these fragments. To compile our personal histories and remember our mysteries, and fleeting sense of self, with due deference to the green Merlin elf. From day to day we struggle on our way, and with the utmost ferocity to reclaim our childhood curiosity, and so easily can these thoughts be misplaced until purgatory disgraced, by indifference, fear and fright, as we struggle through the slumberless night. However, we'll never give up the para-spiritual fight until we see the purple and green heavenly light, and address the dispassionate mind creator in all his might. No redress, forsooth, our Valhalla is in sight.